Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. I got earlier today I got a comment on one of my Final Cut Pro 10 videos just asking a question basically. It was from Johnny Famous or Johnny Famous, not sure how to pronounce that. And his question was, hi, how do you position your text anywhere you want on screen? And it's not that hard, so I thought I would quickly make a video for Johnny's benefit, but also for everyone else's benefit who perhaps don't understand how the text works in Final Cut Pro 10. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to position the titles or the text anywhere in your video. So here we are in Final Cut Pro 10, and what I'm going to do is just drag a title into the timeline. I'll just go for the standard centered title, nice and simple. Now what I can do is I can double click on the title and I can change the text. Like so. Now if I go down to the timeline and select the title, make sure I'm on the select tool, select the title, I now then can go up to the transform tool, which is this one here. And you notice I get some blue dots around my screen or around my title. And this will now allow me to move the text around. So what I can do if I want, I can stretch the text or the opposite of stretching. I can also change the size of the text by grabbing one of the corners like so. Also I can rotate the text by using this little blue, blue circle here. This will allow me to rotate, so that is the middle circle allows you to rotate. And obviously if I want to move the text around on screen, I can just grab anywhere in this square and I can position the text exactly where I want it. So I'll put it up here. So now when I play through on the timeline, you can see the text has been positioned how I wanted. Also what you can do is do something called keyframe where I can make the text move. So to do that is I go back up, making sure I'm on my transform tool still, go up to this, and I can add a keyframe, it's this little square up here, and there you go, I've added a keyframe, then I move along in my timeline, and I can now move the text, wherever I want, and as you can see there's a red line showing me where the text is, now I can add a second keyframe. So let's go a little bit along the timeline again. As you can see, I've moved it a little bit more. And if I move along the timeline again, I can move the text once more. So let's just see what happens now. When I play through. So there you go, that's how to position text and how to um, move text around, etc. So, one last thing while we're on this subject, there's another way to do this, exact same as what we've done, but if you want to do it slightly different, you can do it within the inspector. So I'll grab another title in again. Select the title in the timeline, go to the inspector, and you want to be on videos in the inspector, Scroll down a bit to transform, which you'll find transform, it might be hidden. If it, if it is hidden, just show it. And you have the options for moving the text around using the inspector by changing the X point and the Y point. So for example, you can just get this, click on this, hold down, click, and you can pull it up or down. We'll change the number, then we'll move the text. And same with the Y point, you just move it up and down and it will move it up or down. The next point will move it left or right. Or if you wish, you can click this and just type in a number. So for example, eight, and it will move it there. Here I can type in 50, and then you can see it's moved it off the screen. So I can type in 40, and bring it down a bit. Also, I can rotate within this, within this inspector. I also can scale. So thanks for watching that tutorial, hopefully you all found it useful. If you want to watch some more of my Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, if you go to my channel at youtube.com slash appscreencast and go to playlist, I will be adding plenty of Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials to my playlists. 
or you can just go to me uploads and have a search through for Final Cut Pro 10 videos. Obviously, there's not just Final Cut Pro 10 videos I do, I do many other videos relating to the Mac, the iPhone, the iPad, etc. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Also, if you wish, you can follow me at Twitter at twitter.com slash appscreencast. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.